Yes, it has been confirmed from reliable source that um, DST decided to cut off Emmanuel TV from a services. So what that means is that you no longer get to see Emmanuel TV on your Go TV and also on DSTV. So basically, multi choice just decided to cut them off. Now, what is not very clear is the reason why they are doing this okay uh, not really like it was a news to me because i expected that over time uh, everything that has to do with emmanuel tv after his demise will begin to you know close off and pack off yeah definitely because uh we've not got to see much of legacy that he has left behind or any reputable someone that can actually manage what he was able to set up now, not regarding the fact there has been so many controversies about him, okay? Of course, it's not a news that a lot of people, you know, in the Christian community don't actually believe or see him as a man of God, all right? So, we we are expecting more of this news coming on from all of his establishment, you know, anything that has to do with his ministry as time goes on. But that aside, now, um, I also find something quite interesting, okay? Um, an announcement that was made by an a journalist, by a journalist, okay, who also happens to run a Christian commentary YouTube channel here on YouTube. And uh, he has announced there's going to be a documentary, okay, a documentary that had a lot of people interviewed, people that were close to TB Joshua, people that lived with TB Joshua, and this documentary is going to be exposing a lot of dark things concerning TB Joshua. Has understood that TB Joshua is actually not a true prophet. I'll tell you what. On Monday, the 8th of January, I want you to Google TB Joshua documentary. Midnight on Sunday the seventh into early morning Sunday the, the uh, Monday the eighth. There's going to be a global release of a three-part documentary on YouTube and on TV around that exposes TB Joshua like never before. This is the final nail on the coffin of TB Joshua, and I have been working one in, with an international media broadcaster. For the last two years helping them speaking to victims you're going to hear victims that you'll be shocked you'll be shocked you, you please and there's going to be podcast also audio podcast online on spotify and all of that please i beg of you there's over 30 victims be Joshua's victim, 30, over 30 of them. You will hear things that would shock you. I'm talking about people who lived with him, women who he did stuff to. I'm talking about one of his secret daughters coming out and speaking out. DSTV is seeing all of that. It's coming. And they have to get rid of it. TB Joshua has become irrelevant. Emmanuel TV has become irrelevant to them. We keep our hands crossed, and as the, you know, as the news, as the documentary comes out, just rest, just be rest assured that we will update. I believe the question that will be in the mind of a lot of people is, when this documentary eventually comes out, is it going to put to rest the so many insinuations from different quarters as to? His identity of being either a true man of God or a fake prophet, okay, or when this um, supposedly, or when this supposed documentary comes out, are we still going to have his followers and some of the pastors associated to him that believes in him still defending him, okay? Well, for now, I, I will just keep my hands crossed and let's just watch out and see what documentary brings, okay? But be rest assured. As soon as it is aired, I'm going to be updating us on the documentary as it unfolds. So it's going to be a three-part documentary. So when it comes out, just be rest assured, you will be updated here on this channel. So this is if I with the Potter's Media. I do want to know, as usual, what your thoughts are. Make sure to use the comments 
session and to leave your comments.